All new tonight at 11, the rash of violence in Jacksonville taking center stage at a town hall organized by Anna Brochet. She wants to be the next mayor of Jacksonville. Now this comes after three shootings in less than three hours today. And now some who live in Jacksonville say it's going to impact how they vote. Jeff Valen is on your side tonight, live on the south side where one of today's shootings left a man dead. Jeff. Anthony and Heather, this is Crownwood Drive behind me, still an active scene at the uh, deadly shooting today. Now, uh, much of the political rhetoric in the city's uh, mayoral campaign has been about deadly violence. Jacksonville now has 24 murders and four unclassified homicides this year, the most recent of which coming today, the 53rd day of 2019, for a pace of more than one every two days. It's really hard to believe with, with Jacksonville being what it is and what it's becoming. Chris Hendricks, who lives in the Ironwood neighborhood off Gate Parkway, one of several residents displaced from his own home by crime scene tape after a deadly shooting in a neighboring townhouse, which police say was a domestic incident. The gunfire, which police say killed an adult man, was the second of the day in Jacksonville. The first, about 11.30 a.m. in the 2600 block of Myrtle Avenue North near Mount Ararat Baptist Church in Durkeyville, left two men injured. And a third shooting on Brittier Street on the east side, the victim just 16 years old. That boy is expected to recover. Police followed up Friday evening saying they don't believe criminal intent was involved. With just 25 days before an election, a recent UNF study pegs crime as the number one concern among 62% of those polled. Does it affect how you think about voting? Yeah, it definitely does. Um, it's very concerning. Mayoral challenger Anna Brochet even has a name for it. A curry crime wave. She cites 36.8% of the city's children living in poverty as she describes her strategies. An investment in our children and making sure that they have options, that we utilize the technology that we have, um, the GIS mapping at a street level, and then getting out into the neighborhoods and understanding our street level leaders. All items that Brochet says she would tackle better than current Mayor Lenny Curry. His office and staff did not reply to our request for comment today. Now let's point out that in that UNF poll, 71% of those polled said that they approve of the job JSO is doing. Police say they don't have any outstanding suspects in the Durkeyville shooting or the one that happened here on the south side. Live in Jacksonville, Jeff Fallon, First Coast News on your side.